Now the commands in SQL, standard query language, can be broken down into three main categories. So our SQL commands that we'll be looking at can be broken down into data definition language. So commands that actually define the database objects to so create the tables, create the fields, add primary keys. Our second category is DML, data manipulation language. These are the commands for manipulating the data within your data objects. So selecting the data, updating the data, changing the data and deleting the data. And then DCL category, data control language, controls the permissions that give you access to the data objects that you've possibly created in the DDL commands. So those are the three categories of SQL command. Within each of those categories, there are a number of common commands. If we look at the first of those, data definition language, in here you will see commands used such as create for creating new objects, new tables, new views, alter for altering existing objects, altering existing tables, perhaps adding or removing columns of data, drop allows you to drop objects from the database. So you can remove a table, you can remove a view. Truncate effectively takes away all the data within a table, but leaves the structure in place and any automatic numbering within that table will be restarted. So it's not quite the same as just deleting all the data, truncates all the data and restarts any automatic numbering, but leaves the table structure intact, whereas drop physically drops the whole table, as in removes it from the database. Our second category, data manipulation language, probably the category we're going to spend most of the time in, includes the statements select, which is a big statement. The select statement is a big statement and is one that we will spend a lot of time on because it's the one that you need to get right to be able to query and interrogate databases. Insert allows you to insert new data rows, data records into a table. Update allows us to make changes to the data within a database table. Delete allows us to remove and delete data. And we will certainly be examining all of these data manipulation statements. And then the final group, data control language, has two commands, grant and revoke, for permitting access to particular objects or revoking access to particular objects. So those are the three categories, data definition, data manipulation, and data control. One for building the actual database tables and structure and other objects we would need. One for manipulating data within your tables. And then one for controlling access to tables or objects within the database.